Hello guys and welcome back to the Simply Code programming channel. This is Vikesh and let's get started with today's topic which is about comparators in Java. In the previous session we talked about comparable where we said that whenever we want to implement a naturally occurring sorting order where you just say collection dot sort and you sit back and relax if you have provided the compare to implementation you would expect things to work. But what if you have a custom sorting requirement? Let's take a hypothetical scenario where you created an application and your application has a student object and you created a collection of student objects and now you have different consumer applications. Let's say you have a payroll application, you have an attendance system, you have an examination system, you have another extracurricular activity system and all of them want to get the student collection but all of them have different sorting requirements. Payroll wants to have the sorting based on the roll number. Uh, attendance want to have the sorting on some other mechanism. Extracurricular application want to have the sorting on some other mechanism. So how do you implement custom sorting or multiple sorting logics for your collection? And that's where comparators comes into picture. Comparator is again an interface as you can see here in the signature. And this interface provides you the flexibility to define your own custom sorting logic multiple times so you can create multiple comparator implementations and each comparator implementation will focus on a particular sorting order so that's that's the basic need of sorting so remember whenever you want to sort the object in an order other than natural ordering or ordering or you want to sort some object that don't implement comparable so whenever you have these kind of conditions always think of comparator apart from that always think of comparator when you have to provide multiple sorting implementations on the same collection so let's see how can we do that with the help of an example so here again i have the same student class and i have the same properties Currently, by default, I have provided a comparable student implementation, which is exactly the same as we covered last uh, in the last session. And if we use this particular implementation, uh, you, we create an array list, we created multiple student objects, we added them to the list and we called sort. So what happens if I just comment the new code and if I just run this particular code, remember the sorting is happening on the roll number. So here, roll number one, Jane will come first. Roll number two, Tom will come second. And roll number three, John will come third. But then you had one more application which wanted to have the sorting based on the age of the student. So these are the age values of the students. And some application wants you to provide the sorting implementation for the age. Now age is a custom sorting logic which you need to provide. And whenever you have that kind of situation, create a comparator. How do you create a comparator? like this simply create a class name your comparator anything try to end it with the suffix comparator so that you know that this is a comparator implementation and then you say implements comparator of the class type this is what you need to do and the moment you need to you do this it will force you to override this compare method remember the comparable interface provided compare to method where you supplied the just the foreign object its name was compared to with single object in comparator, the name is just compare and you have two objects here, student one and student two. Let me just call them student one and student two for simplicity. O1 and O2 look a bit weird. So I've just refactored this one and I will refactor this one as well. So I have student one and student two and this is an age comparator. So I want to apply the sorting logic based on age. Simply put, whoever has, whoever is younger should come first and whoever is older should come later in the collection once I sort it. So let's see how this sorting logic is implemented. This is a single line code. So let me just put braces around it so that it's more easily readable. You can write it without braces as well if you have a single statement inside the if block or else block, but you can always write it like this. And let me just format this as well. Okay, so this is the compare implementation. The first logic which I've run is saying, which says that if the first student's age is less than the second student's age, then return minus one. Similarly, if the first student's age is greater than the second student age, then return plus one. And if both of the student's age are same, then return zero. So this is your custom logic and this is where you need to define your logic. And remember, this will also govern whether the sorting is going to be ascending or descending. So, for example, if you have provided that student one's age 
is less than student 2's age then return minus 1 then this is going to maintain the natural sorting or the ascending order sorting now if you want to have a descending order sorting just change these values saying that if this is less then return 1 and if it is greater then return minus 1 and this is going to run the sorting in a descending order fashion now so it depends upon what kind of sorting order you want and based on that you can define the values but the default is always like this that whenever the first object's value is less than the second object value return minus one and if the first object's value is greater than the second object's value then return plus one otherwise return zero minus one means this one this one will get precedence over this one so this is how you have provided your age comparator going back to the main class and uncommenting the other part of the code here I have called the sort method where I want to sort the list but since I want to supply a custom sorting operator or a custom sorting comparator here I need to provide that comparator object here so remember the age comparator which you created here you just need to provide the comparator you need to tell Java how to sort this particular list if you do not tell Java how to sort this Java is going to look for the comparable implementation in the student class and it will sort the student objects based on the compare to implementation provided inside the student class. But if you want to have more custom control over sorting, then you need to tell Java how to do that sorting. And if you see, this is an overloaded representation. This is a method overloading example as well, where the method signature is same, but just the number of arguments are different. So this is how you provide your custom sorting. You supply your comparator. Now you can create multiple comparators. You can comp create another comparator based on, let's say, name. You can add, add, have one more property here, create one more comparator. So you can have as many comparators as you want. Just keep creating them and keep supplying them individually one by one in the sort method. You can just duplicate this and add one more comparator. So this is how you are going to have more control. And if you have multiple consumer application, call multiple sort methods, supply their corresponding comparator, and you will get the sorted collection. So here I'm just printing the list based on the age comparator sorting. And these are the objects. So let's see how this works. And understand the output from the beginning. So the natural sorting order is something which we have already covered, which was done based on the roll numbers. So Jane comes first, Tom comes second, and John comes third. And this is how you get this this particular output now coming to the age comparator you print you print this particular statement which is coming here and then you print these values so let's see how the age comparator is working the youngest here is John so John comes first then we have Tom who is 20 years old so Tom comes here and then we have Jane who is 21 years old and Jane comes in the last so we can see that our age comparator has fired here and it has sorted this in an ascending order now let's flip the values i'm going to change the values here and now it should work in a descending sorting order for the age comparator so let's run this application again and now you see jane comes first who is 21 then tom comes who is 20 and then john comes who is 18 so now the age comparator is working in a descending order so this is all i want to cover in this particular session and in the next session, we are going to have a look at a project which will cover all the concepts which we have talked about so far. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be massively appreciated. And please don't forget to subscribe to Simply Code for more programming related videos. Thank you and we'll meet again in the next session.